are you doing this? Hmm. All right, it says we're live, but now it's having trouble playing the video. Let's see. Was working until right now. All right, let's see. I'm going to see if this is working. It's saying it's having a hard time playing the video, but then I'm seeing it on Facebook. So it looks like we've got a few people here. I will just start and hope that that thing is wrong. All right, I'm going to get started in a minute here. If you are joining me already, um, leave a comment if you could and let me know that you're here. Maybe let me know what state you're in. I'm kind of curious to see who is who is going to be here drawing with me. Um, it's always fun to see see who's here. All right, we've got... I always like to start with technical difficulties. It makes it... lets you know that it's really just a live video. I honestly have no idea if anyone's even listening to me right now because it's saying on one screen, sorry we're having trouble playing this video, but then on the other I'm, I'm watching it and it seems to be playing. So I'm just going to get started. All right. Switch there. All right. Good morning. It is Monday, April 13th. And welcome to another episode of Monday Mornings with Matt. Um, let me see if this is working. I think it is, hopefully. All right. Um, today I see Josh in Winchester, and we can hear you. Oh, good. And Melissa, you're here too. And, uh, and Will and Jack. Awesome. Excellent. It always likes to mess me up right at first, and I'm, I'm never quite sure if, if people are here. All right, so I think I've got it all straight here. Now I lost the screen where I see comments. Hold on, give me a second here so I can make sure I can see people's comments. It's like I have the window all set up and then right as it goes live, everything changes and then I lose I lose the um like the presenter view thing. So where are all the comments now? Do 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 do. do. And now the printer's going. It says live um let me see if i just go to my facebook page i can just watch it there mantavaris is live now oh my goodness just before i get started i want to make sure i can see people's comments because i always found out after that people were commenting and i totally missed them as they're happening now I can see everything. All right, Scott Magoon. Good morning, Scott. I see Laurel Parker is here. Uh, I got to turn down the volume on my Facebook video. I see, oh, lots of people here. Nice, awesome. All right, I will get started then. So here's the plan for this week. Uh, first, we're going to draw. And then I'm going to share some of the awesome artwork that, that people have been sending me over the past week, uh, which I love. And keep doing that, please. Um, and at the end, uh, we'll do some question time. So if you think of anything you want to ask me uh, about uh, writing, drawing, making books, anything, um, we'll do question time at the end and I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, now, where I am in Maine right now, it is very rainy. So I hope, it is, uh, hope it's a little sunnier where you are. Um, I was thinking of what to draw this week. I had a bunch of different ideas, but I decided uh, I want to do a baseball picture. Because one of the things I really miss right now is baseball. Um, usually this time of year, I love, you know, every morning I check to see how the Red Sox did. I'll check my fantasy baseball team. And then, uh, you know, in the evenings, I'll, I'll always have the game on. So I definitely miss that right now. I've got my, got my Red Sox hat here. Now I know I have, uh, I have some Yankee fan friends who, who come and draw with me every week. That's okay, you know. I'm sure you guys are missing your Yankees now too. Um, so I think I'm gonna do. A, I'll do a baseball picture. Um, 
Now, when I go to schools, a lot of times I'll have, uh, at the end of every presentation, I'll do a drawing demonstration where a lot of times I'll have a kid pose as the character. And I will draw, I'll draw that kid, then I'll turn it into a scene like they're playing uh, a game for the Red Sox. So I'm going to do a picture sort of like that. Um, now, lately I've been working on a graphic novel where I'm using a little bit of a different style where um, in most of my books, uh, my pictures are very realistic and detailed. Uh, but for this book, I'm, I'm doing sort of a more of a cartoony style. So I'm going to do, I, I thought that would be better for, for this sort of thing where we're all drawing together and it's a little quicker. Um, I'm going to look through, make sure I'm seeing some of these comments here. Yeah, rainy. Will says it's rainy where he is too. I know. Hopefully it'll just be one rainy day. Then we'll get back to having some some sunshine. Um, all right, so I'm just going to get started. I will get into this other uh, split screen here so you can see my, my paper. Uh, I am going to draw with pencils. You guys, I, th I think pencils are, are good or, or a crayon or colored pencil, whatever you like to draw with. Um, but this is a good time to make sure you've got your your pencils ready and your paper and make sure those pencils are sharpened. I've got my my little pencil sharpener here. Um, all right, and let's start drawing. Now just like when I draw anything, um, if you if you've drawn with me these other weeks, um, I always like to start with simple shapes. And I usually don't push down really hard for those first marks because I'm just I'm just sort of getting it figured out. Um, so I'm going to draw a picture on the mound at Fenway Park. All right, so first, um, first I'll draw the picture. Um, this is where a lot of times at schools I'll have a kid pose for me, and they'll get there, I'll say, you know, pretend you've got a glove on your hand, put the ball in the glove, and I'll have them, them kind of act it out, and then I look at them and draw them as they're standing there. Uh, but here we'll just make it up. So I'm going to start with the head. And this is how, when I'm sketching, I usually, I usually always draw people. Um, you know, I start with a circle for the head. And again, I'm not pushing down really hard, so that's kind of probably a pretty light mark on your screen. But I'm just kind of very, very kind of easily making sort of an oval. And the reason I'm not pushing down very hard is a lot of times I'll, once I get everything else in there, I'll come back to that shape and realize, oh, it's a little too big or it's too small. Um, and I can kind of uh, adjust it as I go. All right, so after that, I'll make a line across here, kind of for the shoulders. And my first step in drawing a person, it's sort of this quick, um, I call it like a gesture drawing, where I just quickly kind of block in where things are. So um, I'll try to do a, a little slower here because you guys are drawing with me, but I'll just, uh, at first it almost looks like a rectangle. I'll make a line across. That'll be basically where the character's waist is gonna go. Then I'll make these continue down. I'm just going to have this picture sort of just standing there, waiting to get the, the, the sign from the catcher. Um, sort of like I'm drawing a stick person almost. Kind of put a, 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 a shape in there to divide the two legs. Uh, maybe down here we see the ground. And you can put like a couple couple marks for the feet down there. Um, and then I'm going to have this picture sort of when they're they're waiting for the sign from the catcher and they've got their glove, you know, kind of like like that. Um, so I'll make on one side for the arms, just lines, you know, sort of like a just like a stick person, like I said. And then same thing over here. So their arms are kind of coming together in the middle there. So now we've got, it's, you know, sort of the the structure to build the character on. Um, I'll give you guys a, a second to catch up there. But again, these, these lines, these are just something to start with. Now you guys that like to draw, um, something you can do for practice, especially now you might have some, some more free time than usual. Um, it's really great practice to look at something in, in real space and try to draw it. Um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe you have a favorite stuffed animal. Um, those are great to draw that they're very good at sitting still um, you know if you build something really cool out of Legos you could draw that um, it, it's really good it kind of trains your eye to see something in real space and capture it on a piece of paper um, here I'm just making it up but but this is you know after 
years and years of, of practicing drawing, looking at real people, um, now I'm kind of used to how, how, how it all works and I can, I can sort of just make it up. Um, all right, now I'm going to build on it. Let's, let's use, I'm going to use my imagination a little bit. Let's pretend this character has a baseball glove on. So I'm going to sort of just like a big, big mitten almost. Um, just going to make the thumb, the four fingers there. And then there's this part, the, the web of the glove. And I'm making these marks a little darker because I feel like that's that's pretty much in the right place. I can I can go ahead and darken that in. Um, and now this line here that I'm starting is the arm. I'm going to build on that, make that a little darker, kind of go over it, make it more of like an arm shape. I'll do that with the other arm too. Now when I draw anything, I kind of I usually jump around the whole picture and sort of build it up uh, together. It's it's probably not the easiest way to, to draw along with someone, so I'm trying to trying to have a little more of an organized system than I usually do, but but I usually just I'll, I'll just kind of keep jumping around and, and build the whole thing up together. So here I decided to put these lines here to, to give this person a short sleeve shirt. Darken that a little bit. A lot of it is like um, once I have those light marks in on there, and I and I realize those are in the right place. It's like I'm tracing. I'm just tracing something I already drew, um, but I'm making it a little dark because I'm more. I feel more sure that it's in the right place. Like this line here. I think that's pretty good. I can go over that. Um, now I think I'll give this uh, picture old-timey, old-fashioned, baggy baseball pants. Um, I see, looks like that's probably James there. I love to draw. Awesome. Me too. Uh, so I'm going to give, uh, put a couple lines here. And then I'm going to, instead of just this straight line I made down, uh, straight down the, the side of the person, I'm going to make it kind of come out, maybe like some, Make it make it look like uh, like baggy pants, you know, like in the in the olden days, the baseball players all wore the big baggy pants. Some of them, some of them still do. And then down here, we'll see his ankles coming down to the the cleats down here. And these feet are kind of coming right towards us, so I'm just going to make, uh, you can kind of maybe see like the laces, just the feet like that. Um, I didn't really get this arm, so I can kind of go over this line, just just kind of add a little shape to it, where before it was just, just two lines. Now it's, um, it can look more like a real arm. And hopefully I'm going at a good speed. If it turns out I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. Um, but, but the good thing is, if you're drawing along, if you're drawing live with me right now, I don't think you can pause it and go back or anything. But afterwards, this video will be saved on Facebook, and I'm going to put it up on my website, um, matttavares.com. Um, so then you can press pause and you can you can do it all over again at, at a different speed. But hopefully, hopefully I'm going not too quickly. Um, so now I'm getting back to this oval, um, and like I said, I kind of I knew it probably wasn't the exact right shape. So I'm going to I'm going to go right over that, make it shaped more, make it make it more shaped like like a head. Um, so I kind of went over like a, with a shape like that. Now I want to put a baseball hat on this on this person. So I'm going to go like a curvy line like that. Another curvy line. That's the the rim of the hat there. Then I'll just make a shape up here. Oh, I see Sophia is drawing with me. Hope your granny's drawing with you too. I know she's been doing it every week. That's awesome. Love having you guys draw with me. That's one of my my good friends who are Yankee fans. Although Sophia might like the Red Sox a little bit too, but it's okay either way. Um, so there, now we have a baseball hat. Now faces are tricky. Um, I've been working on this this book, like I said, where 
um, for my sketches at least, I'm keeping the faces really simple. Um, you know, especially when you're making like comics, um, you don't have to worry about every little detail to make a realistic face. So for this character here, um, and this is a good thing to remember too, if you make very light lines, um, sort of from the top of the ears, if you make um, a line across and a line right down the middle, um, usually that line across, and it, it's basically halfway from the top of the head uh, to the chin. That's where your eyes go. You always think the eyes are higher up, but they're pretty much halfway. I'm just going to make dots. Just a dot there, a dot there, and then pretty much halfway between the eyes and the chin, uh, that's where the nose is. And I've just been making a little line for the nose. Noses can be so hard to draw, um, especially if you see them from straight on. You're used to making like kind of a like an upside down seven for a nose, but from straight on, a lot of times you don't you don't really see that that shape. I'll just make a line, then halfway between the nose and the chin, I'll make another line. That's our character's mouth. And there, I'm just going to leave the face at that. Just eyes, nose, mouth, nice and simple. Make him smiling a little bit. He's having fun playing baseball. All right, so there is our, our main character. Now I'm going to add some background. Um, and one thing I'm going to do, um, this is sort of like a trick that we, we did uh, in the other weeks, um, where I want to make this flat piece of paper look like there's space, like it's not just a flat piece of paper. Um, and I'm going to use a, the similar trick uh, that I've done before, which is basically remembering the idea that when something is up close, it looks big and when something is far away it looks small um, so this the picture is up close so the picture is big um, and you can make your picture look however you want you can give the picture curly hair long hair um, you can get get creative with that you can also decide what team your picture is on uh, we can do that at the end maybe um, so here the pictures on the pictures mound so you can add that down the bottom it's probably barely on your screen there just making it. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to put a line going across here. This is going to be sort of the edge of the infield. And I'm going to make the shortstop. Um, so right over here, um, and usually when I draw the shortstop here, I might start at the, at the bottom. I know with this guy I started with the head, but I want to make sure the feet end up here. So I'm going to make legs coming up here. This guy, I might make a little more scribbly than, than the, the pitcher. This is sort of just a background person. So I kind of have this V, uh, the shortstop, he's a little, he's kind of in a ready position, so his legs are going to be spread out a little bit. There's the shoulders, the waist, see how I'm kind of just making shapes again. Put a circle up on top, sort of an oval for the head. Um, <clears throat> same thing again I'll make his arms coming in this person's further away so we're not going to see all the details that we see on the picture um, so I'm going to keep up with this stuff over here all right now um, shortstop needs a glove so I'm imagining this is Xander Bogarts. That's the Red Sox shortstop. And you can make this whatever team you want it to be. So now I'm kind of going over those lines with more details. Like we've got the short sleeve shirt there. We can do like the little, little V neck. Maybe I should make like buttons. So yeah, that's a lot of a lot of my drawing. It's like I'm just I'm just tracing over the lines I've already made, and I'm making them darker as I become more co confident that they are in the right place. Um, we'll give him some some baggy pants too. Xander likes to wear those those baggy pants with the high socks. Kind of has that cool old school look. So I think of it too, I think I probably said this in another show, but it's like, I think of it like if I were a sculptor, I start with this big block of clay and then I kind of carve into it. So so here I started with these like simple shapes for the legs and then I kind of carve into it. 
Um, and you can sort of do that as go as far as you want with it and keep going into every tiny detail or you can keep it sort of simple and, and quicker. Um, baseball players usually have belts on with their uniform so I'm going to give them belts All right, now we'll give him a baseball hat too, same as the other, the other guy here. I'm gonna just kind of go like that. Then I'll trace over those lines. Give him some ears. Again, just simple face. I'm gonna do eyes. Line for a nose. Line for a mouth. Nice and easy. All right, so, and, and the idea is that he, is, this person's smaller because he's further away. So now it looks like the pitcher's up close, shortstop's a little further away. Now I'm going to make another line going across. This is going to be the base of the outfield wall. Just kind of a line straight across. And now we're going to make the center fielder. So here's Jackie Bradley Jr. Now he's really, really far away, right? So, um, oh, looks looks like you can pause. Oh, that's good. Thanks, Melissa. I didn't know that. And then you're just a little behind, but that's all right. Um, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Jackie Bradley Jr. and he is way out here. So he's just gonna be tiny. All right. So he might even be hard to see on your screen. Basically, drawing just like I drew the shortstop. Actually, start with the legs. And then make that shape above for the the upper body, the head. Um, the gloves. He's basically just a tiny little stick person. I'll, I'll put that closer to the camera. You can see a little, the little center fielder there. Um, and by making him tiny, that shows that he is really far away. Give him a hat. You can't really see all the details on someone that far away. Um, all right, now I'm going to make them playing at my favorite baseball field, one of my favorite places in the world, Fenway Park. Um, so whatever team your players are on, either they're playing for the Red Sox or maybe they're in Fenway playing against the Red Sox. That's fine too. Um, now at Fenway Park, there is a big wall. Some of you maybe have heard of it. It is called the Green Monster. It has a very silly name. Um, it's It's... A big green wall that is 37 feet high. Now we know that this pitcher probably is not taller than 37 feet tall, right? That would be a really, really tall person. Uh, but because the pitcher is close to us and we're looking up at him, um, the pitcher's head is actually going to be higher than the top of the green monster. I do that a lot um, in my baseball books, especially where uh, sometimes you're you're looking up at the players. Kind of adds a little drama, makes them look uh, sort of heroic, like you're looking up at them. Um, like on the cover of Growing Up Pedro, uh, Pedro Martinez is um, is actually, his head is higher than the top of the green monster. These lines up here, these are going to be the monster seats. People can sit up there on top of the green monster. Now when I draw a crowd at a baseball game and they're really far away, Usually, I don't draw every little detail. Like if you look at a crowd at a baseball game, uh, like from across Fenway Park, you don't see, um, you know, their eyes, their nose, what they're eating. You just see like shapes and colors. So I'm going to go across um, the crowd up here and just make little scribbles. Maybe I'll maybe I'll pull that closer you can so you can see. I'm just going to like scribble, scribble, scribble. Um, and just by making a bunch of scribbles up there. You can tell um, it looks like there's a crowd up there. Like there's there's just stuff stuff going on. Um, you know when I'm when I'm drawing, a lot of times you really don't need to include every single detail. Sometimes you can include the details for the really important part of the picture. Like maybe this the pitcher that's the main character. Maybe I'll really dig into the details on that. But stuff in the background I can sort of hint at. And it's kind of fun just to scribble away and make make a bunch of scribbles. All right, now there are these billboards up on top of the green monster. I'm going to put one over here. And this, I'm going to leave blank. And you guys can fill this billboard in with whatever you want. Maybe it's an ad for something. Maybe it's the scoreboard. You can, you can show what team you think is winning. 
Uh, maybe over here we'll make... I think the light tower actually comes in front of the people, so maybe there's like the light tower. It's not blocking the view though, so maybe there's nothing nothing in their way. There used to be big Coke bottles on those. All right. Um, now at the end, this is when I'll add some details, like I'm going to give my players that nice Red Sox B. So we can see there on the on the Red Sox, maybe like some stripes on the uniform. You can, you know, if you want it to be the, the Yankees, you can put a Yankee logo or the Cardinals or whatever team you you root for. You can put your own little league team there if you want. Um, all right, maybe I'll stop there. Um, and again, if you guys want to use this like a coloring page, you can color it in. Uh, you can leave it just how it is. You can fill in the scoreboard however you want. Um, and if you if you didn't finish, you can always go back and watch the video again and and, uh, and and get back into any of those details. Or maybe I'll add a few little details on the wall here, like there's kind of the the padding. Maybe the scoreboard starts. Lots of things I could add. I think I'll leave it like that though. All right. Um, now we can move on. I want to show you guys some of the artwork that uh, people have been sending to me um, over the past week. Um, I don't think I have all of them here. Thank you all for sending me your artwork. Um, anything, and I, and I would love to see the drawings that you did uh, this week too. So you could either post it um, in the comments under this video, or you can um, you can post it anywhere with the hashtag draw with Matt, and I'll search for that and I'll find it. Or whatever way you can send it to me, I'd love to see them. Uh, this is some awesome, some awesome bunny drawings. So many of you added details to your picture, which I, I think is so great. Um, there is uh, there is Sophia hard at work. Um, and these are the drawings uh, by Sophia and her granny, uh, which are great. Thank you guys for drawing with me. Here's some more bunnies. Got some awesome bunny art. I'll make this a little bigger on my screen. Um, some more with with nice uh, nice shading there and some more details added. That's a good good Easter picture. These are so good. Uh, I love I love after this because I'm sitting here by myself and I hope people are drawing with me, but I'm never really sure. And and then uh, until I get until I get these pictures later on. Oh, looks like Sophia is claiming is a. Uh, Saying I do love the Red Sox. All right, I like to hear that. I don't know if your, I don't know if your dad would like to hear that, but now my friend Steve couldn't find a piece of paper, so he did his bunny drawing on a Post-it note. That is very impressive. Well done, Steve. That one's probably better than mine. Very cool to see all of these. Nice. Love all these bunny pictures, and I love pictures of people drawing too. I mean, it's such a such a cool thing. Like I'm here in Maine. I think there was someone in like Kentucky last week, and you know, people are all over the place, and we can all draw the same picture together, and, and they all come out different too because we're all different artists. I also got a few um, few people that did the Dasher drawing this week too. So here's some good some good Dasher art. Um, very cool. See how that looks like. There's space, like the buildings in the background, the trees. I love it. Very cool to see this table of, of Red and Lulu art. And then this one, I think, by James with beautiful color on his Red and Lulu drawing. All right. Um, thank you guys for drawing with me this week. Does anyone have any questions? This is a good time if you have some questions. Uh, we can take a few more minutes. See how long I've gone here. About a half hour. I always plan it like 20 minutes or 25 and then I go longer. But we'll see if I can make it a little shorter in other weeks. Does anyone have any questions? Last week I drew the bunnies and all the questions were about the bunnies. Which was funny. The first week it was all about making books and how long it takes and all that. But but now it uh, seems like it's all... Last week it was all bunny questions. Yeah. So I'll wait, a, I'll wait a minute and see if we have any questions here. Otherwise, um, I think we can call it a week.
All right, well, I can't wait to see the drawings that you guys did this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, this has been a become kind of a fun, fun way to kick off my week, and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, if you do think of any questions, I will check these comments later, and I'll try to answer them in the comments. But I'm going to sign off for now. But um, thank you for joining me again, and I look forward to, to drawing with you again next Monday morning. Um, all right, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and I uh, hope everyone has a good week. Thanks.